Hello and welcome. We're going to solve this problem together, but first try it on your own. When you're ready, press play and we'll talk about it. All right, so this is the kind of problem for me that it's, there's a lot going on, so I'm going to draw a picture to understand what's happening. It says, Joe has a rectangular patio, so I'm going to draw that, some kind of patio. That's like, of course, something you're hanging out on outside. Maybe it's made of cement. And it measures 10 by 12 feet, so I'm going to start labeling that 12 feet here. So my, it just happened to be my longer side and 10 feet here. There we go. He wants to increase the area by 50%. So he wants to make the area of this patio larger, right, by 50%. And he plans to increase each direction by equal lengths, x. So whatever we're increasing, let's say, this dimension by in terms of x, let's say we increase it 2 feet this way. Right? The goal is to also increase it two feet this way right? and make a new patio that's now larger than the one we had before. So just to be clear about what we're doing, we're increasing every dimension by the same amount by x. We're adding x on to both dimensions like this. So that means that our new patio is going to be 10 plus x in this direction. right? And then in the other direction, what's it going to be? Let's scroll down, it's going to be 12 plus x. So this is my setup and thinking. Uh, and the way I'm thinking about it is using a picture. So these are the dimensions of the new shape. It's 10 plus x times 12 plus x. So we have an equation forming. I'm going to write it up here so it's by the problem. So we're, I, I think so far it's going to be 10 plus x times 12 plus x. That's our new patio. So I'm going to cross these two out. Now, out of these two, uh, which one do we want to pick? Well, basically, the original area was 12 by 10, which is 120. So if we're adding 50%, right, what is 50% of 20? Well, it's a half of 20, or 0 0.5 times 120, excuse me, which is 60. So the new patio is going to be 120 plus 60 feet, or 180 feet. So... The dimensions that we add to 10 and to 12, when we multiply these new dimensions, our total area needs to be 180 feet. And that's the answer to this problem, that 10 plus x times 12 plus x equals 180. All right, I hope this helped.